Hello and welcome to ArchitEasy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a Revit modeling workflow of how to get and create these concrete bricks like they are done on a gallery extension of Fine Arts Museum in Chur, Switzerland. Then I'm going to create a parametric family and all those things I'm going to do in the next couple of minutes. If we take a closer look on this facade and how it's structured, we will see that it's done of a lot of concrete bricks, let's say roughly dimension 30 by 30 or 50 by 50 centimeters. Uh, the way how you can do it in Revit is like you can always create a generic family, like a mess, and then you can multiply it for a thousand times. And that's not the way how we would like to create this one. Instead, I would like to make something which is parametric and which you can very easily adjust and reuse. And the, the most important thing is like, I would like to show you the principle, how you can create this. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a curtain wall to make a new family. So I'm going to use the basic one, then we'll create, then we'll go to duplicate and let's name this one as CW, then concrete bricks. Uh, if we go to the picture again, uh, we will see that we have some vertical and horizontal division and spacing. And I will in this tutorial assume that our brick, so it's this part here is 350 and this one is as well 350. So I'm going to create our spacing of 350 by 350. So let's make a horizontal vertical grid fixed number 350. Do the same for the horizontal distance. I will take nothing for a mullions because as you could see here, we have no mullions on our facade at all. So just click OK and let's create a wall, which is, let's say, 7.5 meters. Let's go to 3D. Uh, the next thing I would like to do, because as you could see here, I would like to create this panel. And I'm going to do this with creating a curtain wall panel. Let's go to File in Revit, then click New, New Family, and take the English one. And for a family, let's pick this one, metric curtain wall panel. When we are in family, I'm just going to go to exterior view. We'll put this down to 350 because that's going to be our height of the brick and those two sides on 350 as well. And let's create the extrusion. That's the first thing we need to do. make it 100 to be so that that's going to be the thickness of the of the brick and let's save this family then i'm going to load this into the project i will select the curtain wall and for a curtain panel i will place this one we just did if we go to the picture we will see that we have kind of sloped edges here. So let's back to the family and let's do this. And I'm going to 3D view. The way how I'm going to do this is I will go to the void form, void sweep. And when I'm sketching pad, I will just pick a plane. So it will be this one. We'll, I will pick the edges. And now let's create a profile. So this is 100, as we said. So I will make this as 75 millimeters. Then we'll make this as 15. And we'll close the profile. We'll click OK. So this is how it looks like. Then I'm going to load this into the project and we'll all override the existing version. So you see we got something which looks okay from here but the next thing are those void forms inside 
So let's create them. Again, going to the family. Next thing I'm going to do is I will create this small tiny edges here and I'm going to do this with a void extrusion form. So let's go to void extrusion, then let's pick a reference plane, it's going to be this one and I'm going to offset this for 10 millimeters inside. And it's going to go in for 25 millimeters. Then the next thing is to do the same thing. But as you could see here, our next voids, they are wider by left and right side than they are from the top or from the bottom. So let's go to the void, void extrusion, and let's pick a new reference plane. So it's going to be this one inside. Then let's go by sides by 40 millimeters from there and here and 20 from and 20 from the bottom and from the top so i'm just going to trim this 25 inside that's okay and let's re let's repeat the same thing for the third void void extrusion again Let's set a, again a new reference plane. It's this one. And let's do the same. 40 by sides. And 20 from the top and from the bottom. Let's just trim this. And now when we are done with this, let's select the whole model and assign material in this case is going to be concrete brick okay and let's just load this into the project so this is how it looked like now i'm just going to close the family i will just save it we don't need it anymore and i will go here to the floor plan and we'll create the wall on the other side as well. So we'll select this one, create similar. So as you could see from 3D, our join here looks very well and it's looking quite similar to what, what we have here on the building. Thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you will find this tutorial useful and if you would like to support us, please just subscribe to our channel and click the like button.